this is the tree of life. <laughs> but this is the uh, um, Melbourne edition, an Australian edition. Um, and here, I don't know if I can pick them up. This is the original, three volumes. It's about life in the Lodge ghetto. And it starts in 1939, um, before the Germans, uh, on New Year's Eve 1939. It follows 10 characters, each one of whom gets a different chapter, um, of various walks of life. And um, so it shows you what the large Jewish community was like before the war, and then what happens when the Germans march in, and how life uh, constrains. So the first volume goes until from New Year's Eve 1939 to uh, the end of 1939. And the next volume starts um, New Year's Eve 1940. And that's the first scenes there are, the, um, the, the scenes of the Jews being forced into the ghetto. And then it continues, the second volume goes for two years. And then the third volume is the last two years. So it basically covers the whole span of, of the period of, the, of ghetto life up until the um, liquidation of the ghetto, and then it doesn't go any further. So there's, in the end, like all the main characters get sent out of the ghetto. And you, intellectually, you know that probably most of them will not survive. But I, I, I was so attached to them by then, I asked her, you know, maybe uh, so-and-so survived or did so-and-so survive? And she said, you know, that's how it was. Nobody survived. She's got three characters who survived, one of whom is um, her alter ego. But so the, and she couldn't at that time apparently write about the concentration camps. So the book ends with everyone being uh, sent out of the ghetto. And then it's, uh, it, there's several blank pages and then something about Auschwitz. And then there's an epilogue in which the woman um, who is my mother's surrogate sits down to write this novel. But in, within the um, span of the three volumes of The Tree of Life, some, most of the characters I've come to realize, I thought they were mostly fictional. I don't think they are anymore. I think most of them are based on actual people. Uh, some that are clear are, um, Berke, there's a Simcha Bunim Berkovich is based on Shaevich. And then Rumkovsky is a major character. She doesn't change his name. Um, and I, I think given that she hardly knew him, um, the portrait there is really quite remarkable of, of this character. I mean, he was, I'm sure you know, he was a fascinating man and like, <laughs> for good and ill, 